Does the QIT, or Qualified Income Trust Bank Account, need to be used to pay monthly towards the long-term care, then Medicaid pays the remaining long-term care costs? Come on, guys, you know the answer. It depends. Here's what it depends on. The Medicaid recipient is in a skilled nursing facility, and some people get skilled nursing confused with assisted living or memory care. We're talking a true skilled nursing facility. Then what happens is the Qualified Income Trust bank account needs to be used for any income on a monthly basis that exceeds the Medicaid income cap. For this year, that is set at $2,829 per month gross income. So what happens is, let's say you get your $3,000 a month of income, that's more than $2,829, so you need a Qualified Income Trust bank account in order to stay qualified or maintain Medicaid eligibility, you take 100 bucks a month, you move it over to the Qualified Income Trust to fix the income problem. Then your patient responsibility at the nursing home is going to be all of your gross monthly income, except for $160 a month that you get to keep for personal needs allowance. So the money that is in your regular bank account where your uh, income hits and the QIT money, except for the $160, and you can leave it in the QIT or in your personal bank account, it doesn't matter. All of that goes to the nursing home or the skilled nursing facility for your patient responsibility. Then Medicaid pays the difference. But if you're not in a nursing home, let's say you are at home receiving home care, or as I call it, level one Medicaid long-term care, then Medicaid doesn't take your income, either from your regular bank account or from your qualified income trust bank account, in exchange for the home care benefits. And on average, you get uh, 10 to 40 hours a week of home care paid 100% by Medicaid. No co-payments, no out-of-pockets, and they don't take your income in exchange for the benefit. So in that situation, the $200 a month in my hypothetical would go into that qualified income trust, and it can be used on anything care-related, and that's broadly defined, um, but anything care-related, we can use qualified income trust money from. So if you're home, then the qualified income trust money doesn't need to go to pay for your care uh, in exchange for benefits. But if you're in a nursing home, then yes, it needs to go to the nursing home uh, before Medicaid kicks in and pays the difference. Pretty complex stuff. Uh, we didn't even get to talk about assisted living or memory care, how that works. But the idea is that you want to work with a qualified elder law attorney that knows the ins and the outs, knows the three levels of Medicaid long-term care benefits, knows how to set up the qualified income trust, and then more importantly, knows how to educate you on how to properly use the qualified income trust assets so that you don't screw it up and end up losing Medicaid inadvertently. Hope this helps. Have a great day.